All right, what's going on, good people? So this video here is for those of you that are interested in getting the new Mac, Mac Studio, M1, Max Ultra, all that good stuff. I just want to talk about compatibility. As I journey into this new world, I want to make sure that uh, I bring some of you along with me. And if you're interested in uh, keeping your system up to date, definitely do not do a transfer of data do not migrate don't use any kind of migration assistant <clears throat> this is not the thing to do you want to do a fresh install watch my last video for details regarding the three things you should consider before buying a mac studio right now i've been testing all of the universal audio plugs and it's a clean fit it's very polished just like a whistle everything is looking exactly the way it needs to look. So that is good. I've just been pretty much checking everything uh, from compressors to reverbs, so on and so forth. Now, here is the important thing. We have M1 compatibility. Everything is straight. Here's what you need to know. This is the important part of the video. You're going to want to take notes here. When you make this transition into the world of M1, there's one additional step that not a lot of people know about. And it's probably a little bit dangerous in some ways, but you have 30 minutes to actually complete this from beginning to end. So I want you to read this. I want you to take notes. And then when it's your time to transition, I want you to remember these required steps. So as you can see here, it says these steps are required to install UAD software and M1 systems. Obviously, Apple has made a gigantic step in terms of protecting people's privacy. And sometimes certain softwares, they're going to require them to do a little bit more by way of protecting your system. So it says here with Apple Silicon, the additional steps below are required. So what you're going to do is you're going to shut down your computer. When you turn it back on, though, you're going to press and hold the power button on your Mac until you see loading startup options. So I held it for about 10 seconds and then I saw this menu. Once you're prompted with the account password, you go into the recovery app. All right. And then, like I said, you just click on the drive security policy okay now let's bring it down here you're going to want to enable reduce security and enable the first tick box allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers once you do that you should be all good to go so this is going to work on big Sur. it's going to work on monterey of course the studio comes loaded with Monterey. So just be clear about all of those details. And just a quick side note, I know there's a lot of noise and riffraff about, do I need to have Rosetta? Do I not need to have Rosetta? This is something that's going to happen by itself. Sooner or later, you're going to download something and Apple's going to say, hey, in order to use this piece of software, you're going to need Rosetta. So there's nothing that you have to do in particular. It will come to you. So like I said, this is the most important part of the process. If you want to start using console, all the various plugins, you want to get back in it, then this is the way to do it. Uh, I will keep reviewing various plugins from every major company, including Native Instruments. The goal is to make sure that compatibility is tight and things are working exactly as they should. Let's check out Culture Vulture. Yep, that sounds just right. And let's do one more before we get out of here. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like the video. Thank you so much for all the latest support. And I'm just so grateful. Uh, let's keep this thing going. Let's stay up. Let's stay happy. And let's stay focused on what we want. Yep, okay. Well, that's it for me. Stay up. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.